What? What is that? Welcome, welcome. Have you seen this new phone? This is the newest from Samsung. Really cool phone. This is the new Galaxy Flip 5. And uh, yeah, this thing's slick. The hinge is improved. They say the battery life is improved. Of course, time will tell as we test this thing out, but it really feels even more solid than any of the flip phones before it. And yeah, it's awesome. And the biggest improvement aside from those things is this screen on the front, this outside screen, the cover screen is what they call it. And it really is cool. Here is my problem with this. You can't run apps when you power it on and start using it, you realize you are restricted to these, um, these widgets as they call them, that's it. And I can zoom out and show you, I've installed, I've activated all of the widgets on here and this is all you get. So you've got a calendar, you've got weather, you've got uh, phone calls, uh, you've got contacts, you've got alarms, uh, some sort of a timer, another timer. Uh, this is your health, your Samsung health one. Uh, this is a smart things one, which is cool. So you can control your smart home stuff. And this is a stocks widget. Those are all the widgets you get. And you will notice, and I don't have it here because I have no notifications. Oh, here's a few. But if you have, for example, a messaging notification, you can actually tap into the messaging notification and it will take you into the message and allow you to reply to the message. So clearly, there is the ability to run more robust apps on this cover screen. It just doesn't seem to be activated. And if you use the, the newest Motorola Flip, they've got a big screen like this too. And on the Motorola Flip, you can run apps on the outside screen. This screen has a great resolution. It's it's pretty big. Uh, it's you know as, as good as some of the phones we had back in the day. So here's the thing, and I'm gonna show you the trick right now. There is a way to run more robust apps on that cover screen. It's not that hard to activate. It takes you about uh, 10 seconds here. Look at this. So you go down, scroll down, you slide down from the top, gives you your menu options, tap the little gear icon there. See that guy? That takes you into your settings. If you have a Samsung, if you've had a Samsung before, you probably know that. That's a quick way to get in your settings. Scroll about halfway down and you'll see the option that says advanced features. See that there? Tap on that. The first option at the top is called labs. Uh, you want to go into labs and now you'll notice an option. It's actually the last one on my page, probably on yours too, that says apps allowed on cover screen. What? What is that? Well, that's exactly what we want. And all you have to do is turn it on. Voila. There you go. And if you tap into it, you'll actually see these are the apps they're letting you use. So unfortunately, you can't just throw any app on there. Samsung clearly has vetted uh, these apps. There's only five of them. But still, these are pretty important apps, pretty useful apps uh, in, in, in my phone. And this might be different in your phone, depending on what you have installed. I've got Google Maps, uh, the Messages app from Google, the Samsung Messages app, Netflix, and YouTube. Uh, talk about clutch apps right there, right? So let's just turn all of them on and then I'll, I'll just hit my home screen, go back home, close my phone, and now if I turn on the cover screen, I have all the same widgets that I had before. So nothing has changed in terms of what I already have activated there, but if I go all the way to the end, which you can jump to by doing this as well, there you go. There are the apps that I just activated. So if I tap into messages, it takes me literally into the messages app. Pretty cool. If I tap into Maps, Google Maps, I'm gonna skip the sign in, but there you go. There's like a mini version of Google Maps and you could see how useful that would be if you don't wanna open up your phone, but you need to use Maps real quick. Uh, YouTube, it gives me literally the, the full YouTube experience just on a small phone. And these Android apps are designed to, to not shrink necessarily, but work around whatever resolution the phone has. They're not stuck to a certain resolution. We've seen that with so many different Android phones with different resolutions. That's how Google has built Android. So this makes total sense to be able to do this. Um, let me jump. The back button apparently doesn't work when you do that. I'll hit home. Uh, Netflix, I'm not logged in, but you can see it takes me into the Netflix app. I can literally watch a TV show on the outside of my phone here, which, you know, I'm not sure how much you'd use that for Netflix, but maybe if you're sitting on a plane and, you know, you just want to kind of watch a, a show real quick. Um, yeah, and there you go. The other messages app is the Samsung map or app, excuse me, which the other messages app is the Samsung app, which I got to allow a million permissions to use it. All right. No, I do not want to set that as my default, but same thing. This is the full app shrunk down for this screen. 
So there you go, super easy. If you need to see that again, just jump back to the video. It's very simple, literally will take you five to 10 seconds to activate that. I think it's worthwhile and hopefully Samsung will add more apps to this as they test them out. And hopefully they'll make this a default option that's automatically enabled because it really works super, super, super good. It works exactly as you'd expect. I, I see no reason why this is a labs function, but uh, we'll see if that changes. Hey, if you like this content, this is the kind of stuff we create, unboxings, tips and tricks, cool uh, first looks at gadgets like this, Flip 5. So uh, like this video, comment below if there's something you'd like to see, if this is something that was useful for you. And of course, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Tech it before you wreck it.